The federal group is heading for its worst financial result in 20 years. The owner of the Sapphire Resort and Tasmania's casinos is also dealing with uncertainty as the pandemic delays the release of information about plans to end the company's monopoly on the state's poker machines. In the decade between the global financial crisis and the current COVID-19 induced recession, Sapphire has hosted famous guests who value their privacy. I think over the years, potentially uh, uh, Sting, um, I think uh, Ed Sheeran and those sort of people were leaked. With borders closed, the luxury resort now opens only two days a week. COVID-19 restrictions have also hit Federal Group's other hotels, restaurants and two casinos. I'd be expecting uh, Mullawa Holdings reporting its worst uh, financial result in 20 years. Thanks to JobKeeper, the company has only laid off four staff so far. But the support will be wound back in coming months. Just need the borders to open, yeah. We want it to be safe, but we need the borders to open as well. COVID-19 has also delayed work on new gaming laws. The government plans to end Federal's monopoly on poker machines and move to an individual venue licence model in 2023. We are still considering the timing of that. Uh, obviously COVID has impacted that work and it's also impacted many of the participants uh, within those markets, so that's something we're still working through. It makes it very hard to plan, particularly for major projects. Ha having said that, COVID's uh, really made planning very difficult itself, so we've sort of got a double whammy. Under the new regime, Federal is seeking a cut to taxes on its poker machines in casinos. It's currently almost 26%. It had suggested similar rates to casinos in regional Queensland, while the government also wants to include a community service levy. Hotels would face a much higher rate. We just need to be in a position where we're competitively placed to, to compete in the markets which we do, both within this state and in Australia. The pandemic has delayed the release of the latest social and economic impact study on poker machines in Tasmania. Anti-pokies campaigners want the government to release modelling on the anticipated impact of the new gaming market policy before the bill is tabled. Surely they've done that modelling. They should release it well ahead of bringing legislation. Calling for a clear view of the future of gaming in Tasmania. Laura Beavis, ABC News. Northern Tasmania.